Section 3, Creating a Well Architect Application. What is MVC in tier architecture? What are we going to do in this video? We're going to take a deeper look into the in-tier structure and talk a little bit about how the in-tier structure is how most modern architecture is done for software today. We're also going to say why is the in-tier a preferred architecture and look at some of the reasoning for that. We're also going to look at MVC, the modulization of a project, and why you would want to modulize a project. ASP.NET Core 3 the modern architecture look. First thing, we generally want to, in a interior application, divide our project into three separate projects, but all running in one software package. And the first is the client side. This is our HTML, our websites, everything that the client or the user actually sees. Then second is the logic and business. This is where all of our mathematics and our decision making, really all that, that logic is put into this separate section here. The other area is the data. And this is generally the bottom tier of our project. And this is where we uh, connect to a database like a SQL database or MySQL or maybe a virtual server in the cloud. Interior itself follows this layered approach. We talked about the client size, so this is also referred to as the presentation layer. And the presentation layer is usually where our ASP.NET and our Razor pages and all of our HTML is at. Then we look at the business logic layer, the BLO is sometimes the way it's referred to. This is where we find our classes and our methods for core functions of our application. Then finally, the DLO is the data level object. The DLO is where our CRUD, and that's the really the basics of everything that controls our data from our database, our data source. And then we have our data source, which is actually outside of our project. It's not in the code. It is a, a separate entity outside of our project. And so a lot of times we're dealing with a SQL Server, MySQL, or any type of cloud-based data. We also see that many times on top of these two layers, we may have a service layer, and this may be our web service. And we talked a little bit in the beginning about ASP.NET and how it uses different types of server platforms as a service layer. We uh, also look at some uh, very common components in a layer, and that is uh, where our exception logging and our validation and security can all be built in these layers outside of those main layers that we see in our interior project. 